Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do another reading for September. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest. Keep in mind that this is for any time in September. So I urge you to watch it, you know, today it might resonate, but watch it later because I feel like this is to come. All right, so we're going to do you and the other person. One side will be yours and the other will be the other person's. You choose which side. Um, now you're thinking about somebody, right? You're thinking about somebody or somebody's thinking about you. It could go either way. We're going to see what comes up. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I do need to shout out that if you are in a happily ever relationship, then this reading isn't for you. Because I just know that that's not the case. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, you don't need to be watching a tarot reading. Everything is good. So, um, this is for people that need it. That The readings that I do are geared towards people that need them. Okay? The people that need, they have an ant, they have a question about their relationship. Whatever it is. Okay? So, what do we got for Scorpio? What do we got for Scorpio? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So the, there's a, obviously a, this is happiness. Okay, look at the passion. Look at the look at the joy. This is this is two people coming together in you know a very passionate union. Okay, but I am going to show you what's on the bottom because I need to. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, there may be some passion, but there could be some red flags that you need to pay attention to. There could be. So what do we got for Scorpio? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. In regards to Scorpio and the other person. Conflict. Competition. You may be dealing with a lot, somebody that has competition. Okay? Or you may be needing to compete for this person's attention. Um, this is a power struggle. This is a conflict. This is somebody trying to prove themselves, trying to compete. Um, we're going to get another one right here. You may be dealing with somebody who's really not focused on having a full-on relationship. Just saying. Okay, this is the... Uh, the Prince of Cups reversed. This is the, you know, they, they may not be offering you a full-fledged relationship. And they may not be offering you a full-fledged relationship because there's competition. So just, that might be a red flag. Um, let's go over on this side. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of passion here. This is a new beginning. This is a new spark. This is a new flame. A new passionate opportunity. Now, the hangman reversed. This is irresistible, perhaps. It is irresistible. It does look like it's irresistible. Um, two of Wands. This is a moment of decision. You have to make a decision. Are you ready to step into this? Um, are you ready to... You know, this is, look at things from a new perspective. Um, this is like an instant attraction of some sort. But there is some sort of challenge here, okay? Because this is a challenge, the nine of, wa nine of Wands. So this, what the hell? Sorry. That really bothers me. Let me put this on shut. There we go. Um, <laughs> this is a challenge. So there's some sort of challenge here. The person that you are dealing with, yes, they may be very sexy. They may be very passionate. But they may have some wounds. They may have some previous wounds that they are dealing with. They may be, maybe, hmm, let's get some more cards over here. This person has been wounded. They are looking for love, but they may not be emotionally available. So I'm not sure what side is you. 
We got somebody here that doesn't appear to really be emotionally available. They may not have good intentions. Now, I'm not sure what side is you. This person um, is wanting some touch. They're wanting some tender, loving care. They're wanting some passion. But they are still thinking about the past because the two of wands are still thinking about the past. They've been wounded in the past. They're trying to have confidence. This person may be acting impulsively out of lust. I just got to be honest with you. This person seems to be trying to fill a void. Okay? That may be your red flag. Yes, there's passion. They're, they're very passionate. This person is exciting. This person is very um, invigorating. This person um, is probably open to trying something new, but they're not really emotionally available. They may not have good intentions. Yes, they're looking for a partnership, but it looks like it's a sexual kind of partnership. Okay? They're looking for sex. Just saying. Let's go over here. Ooh, this person is enjoying life, doing quite well on their own. Um, ooh, the lover's reverse, false contract, not compatible. Um, having a hard time finding the perfect one. This person has been, has been, you know, is really conflicted, really wanting that perfect match. And is this person is having a hard time finding the perfect match. Um, been pushing people away. Exhausted. This person is exhausted. Feeling like they're never going to get what they want. So this person is feeling like they're never going to get what they want. Now they got this new passionate opportunity with somebody who, you know may see, this person may see that this person is vulnerable, even though this person is so, has been, this person feels, this person seems like they're quite content on their own, but they are still looking for somebody else. It's like this person, yes, this person is doing very, very well on their own. This person feels like they may have exhausted their opportunities. So we got this person over here that's feeling like I'm never going to get what I want. My wishes are never going to be fulfilled. This person may be in, you know, feeling a little in a state of despair. You know, am I ever going to have that relationship? Everybody, every, nobody is good enough. You know, everybody uh, keeps betraying me. You know, this person I feel like this person is conflicted about getting in a false contract. This person is conflicted. This person knows their value. This person does know their value because the nine of pentacles, this person has worked really, really, really hard. I feel like this person has been independent for a while or they've been working on their independence. This person has taken a long break from looking from love for looking for love or that's what they're doing. It's like they're not even looking for it. I'm not looking for a relationship right now. This person has dealt with some struggles, some conflict. They've probably been betrayed really bad to the point where they're, it's like, you know, I'm never going to find somebody who completes me. I complete me. And this person may be distrustful. I feel like this person um, definitely has a lot of inner conflict about relationships. I'm better off on my own. I don't. I don't trust anybody. There's been so much, so many false contracts in the past that this person is like, you know, I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe in love anymore. I don't believe that it's ever going to come. I think this person is is doing so well on their own. They're not even looking for it, and then this person shows up. Um, this person has been in a unfair situation, an unfair karmic situation. Whatever the situation was, it was about self-worth. It was about self-value. I think this person has learned their self-worth and their self-value, and now they don't trust. 
this person really doesn't trust. It's like, you know, I've been deceived. I've been lied to. You know, I've been in some, some false contracts some false relationships and I, and I don't want to compete. I feel like this person doesn't want to have to compete, you know, with anybody. And this person is very knowledgeable because they have been through some serious karma. This person over here, whoever they're dealing with, I think this person, um, probably is wanting this person, this person is wanting this person to make a decision about giving them a chance. This person, um, is ready. This, well, this person is definitely interested in a passionate manner. This person is wanting to fill a void. This person may not have the best of intentions. Seriously, as, as far as, this person wants sex by the looks of things, okay? They do. They want sex. Um, this person is, is, this could be karma as well. Princess of Swords, Queen of Cups. This person sees this person is very intuitive. This person sees that this is an opportunity. This person is changing their direction. This work person is looking for change. This person is very curious and high energy. Um, this person is looking for somebody to rescue them from their pain. To fill a void. This person is looking for somebody to fill a void. And it's like... This person is looking for somebody that has a big heart that will take care of them. So just, that's why there's red flags here. This person is looking, and, and maybe, you know, everybody wants somebody to take care of them. Um, this person is testing. They're testing the waters. This person is very... Um, I think this person is ready. I think this person is ready to to come together with somebody. I think this person is highly evolved, you know, in their in their in their stage of life. This person has a lot of life experience uh, too as well. I, but it's different. It's different. I think that this person is um I feel like this person is selfish in a way. This person is selfish. It's like they're looking. This person is looking out for themselves. Okay? They're looking out for themselves. They're not looking out for this person over here. So whoever this person is, I think this person is not really looking for a relationship, honestly. I think this person is doing quite well on their own. This person over here is looking for a sexual partner. They're looking for somebody to take care of them. This person is selfish. This person is selfish. They are. This They are. They are. This person is looking for somebody to fill the void. This person is confused. They may have some fantasies that they want fulfilled. Um... This person is probably coming hard and fast. You know, they're 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 charging forward. They're 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 trying to move very quickly. They're trying to get somebody to come to them very quickly. You know, they're trying they they need to have some patience. This person needs to have some patience. This person is very very fast moving. They're they're just wanting to fill a void. I can't stop saying that. That's exactly what this is. Is this person looking for anything long term? This person is uh, dealing with some past disappointment and they are absolutely trying to fill a void. They, they're they still focusing on a loss. So whoever, whether it's you or wh whatever side this is, this person is not really looking for a relationship. They're just looking for sex. Okay. This person, whoever the other person is, this person is 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 very um, strong. This person is a hard worker. This person um, doesn't trust. This person um, is in control of their emotions. This person um, feels free. This person likes their freedom. 
this person wants to travel, this person um, has already learned a serious lesson, a karmic, karmic lesson in their life, and this person is very much conflicted about getting into a relationship. So I, we definitely have a problem here. We have a problem here because this person is probably not willing to give up their independence. This person is not really willing to get bound to anybody because of their past karmic lesson that they have learned. But there's an opportunity for passion here, but I don't think that it will lead to anything I don't. I don't think it's going to lead to anything because I feel, even though this is a completion, this is a completion. This person has learned a karmic lesson that makes, that has taught them that they are better, you know, that they can take care of themselves. This person is very strong. This person is not looking for any false contracts. So I feel like this person's um, past life experience, you know, has made them wise enough to know that this person is just a player. So, um... I think that, that uh, Scorpio, you have an opportunity for a passionate encounter or, or maybe even a few. But I, I honestly don't feel like whoever that you're dealing with has the best of intentions. I feel like it's this is just sex. I don't feel like this is going to lead to happily ever after. And that's as far as I'm going to go. Good luck.